it's been so long, right? When was the last time you were in a video? Like about since the last stream yard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome. It's been a long break and thank you everybody for keeping up with us, for staying tuned on social media, for following us. I hope that you have found a way to keep yourself happy and healthy uh, during this crazy year that seems like the extension of 2020. So the good news is that we see the light at the end of the tunnel, right? Parties are coming back. People are, you know, seeing each other a little bit more. People are getting vaccinated, so they're feeling better. So with that in mind, I wanted to give you some ideas and tips and tricks as you resume painting um, of what are some good ways to create good ha happy healthy habits so uh, the first thing is you have to create a habit that is going to be doable and what i mean by doable is if it's going to take you 15 minutes a kid to sanitize between them that's not a good idea that's not a good option for you because it's going to take too long right yep and kids won't sit parents won't be able to afford um if you are charging you know 125 dollars an hour but now instead of painting 12 kids or 15 kids an hour now you can only paint five because of your hygiene so i'm going back to basics here and i encourage you to create a system that works for you so the way that i like to work is i use a brush tub and inside of the brush tub there are two areas right here okay there's actually three so what i I do is I keep one side always with clean water always 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 and one side I take brush bath and I just squirt two to three drops inside so what that does is it helps keep the water clean it helps loosen up and remove the oils from your brushes and it also just helps you rinse your brushes faster then I go the extra step of taking my brush bath spray and I spray all my brushes between kids each and every one of them and then I rinse it in the clean water and that way every single time that I am painting a kid I have a two-step process I rinse it with brush bath or at first I spray it with brush bath I rinse it with brush bath and then dip it into clean water and that way I'm getting almost a double disinfectant um, process now some of you might say you know um, brush bath doesn't have alcohol in it how does it work is it effective I encourage you to watch the brush bath video on my channel uh, because it's going to help explain as I use the ATP germ meter, tested the germs, the effectiveness of it, and I just encourage you to watch it and then make up your own decisions. I also recommend using one sponge per child or spraying your sponges in between and rinsing them out with brush bath as well um, because you just want to keep it really clean as possible. I also encourage you to do not spray brush bath directly on your paints um, and do not spray alcohol on them for two reasons. Your paints and the actual pigments inside of them are designed to be uh, used with water, okay, as an activator. So the formulation is based on water activation because pigments disperse differently in different solutions. So alcohol can actually ruin some of the pigments. It can make it spread. It can ruin some of the paints in terms of its overall formulation. So simply just use water. You are more than welcome to spray your brushes after your gigs with alcohol. I don't recommend in between because it's hot these days. Um, also, it's a strong smell. So brush bath will do the trick. Okay. So again, to recap, what I suggest as a professional face painter is get yourself something that has multiple compartments for water. Fill up one side with brush bath gel, the other side with clean water in between guests spray each brush with brush bath spray then rinse it in the brush bath water and then retrieve clean water in the second compartment and that is going to help you create a fast doable two-step cleaning process that's also going to make your customers their families and yourself very happy in addition to that dump and rinse your water frequently wash your hands frequently use handy sanny right yep all right so, so first thing i'm going to do is just get my handsome model set up yep what's your name london green oh, that's the right the, the clay king all right so it's taken me years guys to get this guy comfortable to face paint so i'm really excited about that and he is going to be my fabulous model today so um oh quickly 
I like to keep my, I'm covering him up. I like to keep all my brushes standing up. Why? Because then I can see everything. They're not sitting in water. Uh, no one's touching them. Um, so I got this fabulous easel from my best friend in Mexico, Timmy Bond, and hopefully I can get more, but get yourself something where your brushes can stand up. Um, it keeps them away from the kids. It helps you locate the brushes that you want. Um, and soon I'll do a video on my favorite brushes happen to be a lot of the paint pals. Um, all right, so let me get set up so we can get started. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is take the Suzy Amaro collection. I love my easy strokes. And it had, this one is called uh, Pumpkin Orange and it has a mixture of different shades of orange and also a black on the end. Um, all I'm gonna do is draw kind of like an oval over the eye. So I start at the corner of the eye, come up, and then just swing it in and meet it there, okay? And the same thing. So I find that it's easier to start from the corner and come up and start from the other corner and then meet it that way. Okay, so as you can see over his eyes, there's still a little space. Now I have this rule that I don't love to put a lot of paint really close to kids' eyes, especially boys, because it's not always comfortable. Do you like paint right on your eyelid? Mm, not that much. Not that much. He is not lying. So I'm going to let that dry and you have a choice. One of the more comfortable options is to use powders like the Ben Nye eyeshadow palette or the Ben Nye palette. Go ahead. Um, or the Ben Nye palette. So all I'm going to do is take a smoothie blender and a little bit of this yellow. Uh, I can mix it with the orange if you want. Close your eye. And I'm just going to kind of fill in a little bit more color along the corner. And you don't even have to go all the way to the eyelid. That's just gonna help you fill in a little bit more color. Now I loaded up a smaller angle brush. This is one is by Cameron Garrett called the Romantic Rose. And I loaded it up with the same one stroke cake. And what I'm gonna do is just go around his nostrils on both sides and kind of meet in the middle. And <laughs> just like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is take another one of the Suzy Cakes, and this one is called Reindeer Sparkle, and it's all the browns. And then what I'm gonna do is just from the middle of the eye, I'm gonna bring it in this way, and then bring it in this way, and bring that one down just a little bit, okay? Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna come over this eye right here, just like that, come around, come around, mindful of the brown on the edge, and then I'm just gonna connect and connect to the top lip, just like that, okay? But this time with the larger point, uh, with, the, with the lighter color, okay? And then what I'm going to do is from the corner of the nose, create these two uh, kind of loops coming out. Now what you see is a darker color on the inside. So I'm just gonna kind of press that down right there. Then I'm going to take my smoothie blender again. And this time pick up a little bit of the black and a little bit of the brown. And I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. Okay? Just like that okay perfect now we're almost done guys this is the fun part is that we literally uh, can rock this one out really quickly so picking up this uh, orange one again look at me and I'm just going to create more hair just like this filling in that area just like that and then, you know, we know lions to have what? Manes, right? So, um, right here from the edge, I'm just going to kind of fan out some hair on both sides. And the cool part about this arty cake or the entire collection actually, is because it has the brown or the black on the edge, you already get the contrast you already get. Okay. Perfect.
perfect just like that okay now so like I said, you already get that contrast, you already get kind of that detail work where you don't have to do a ton more work. Okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, picking up some white and my big drop brush. This brush is my favorite brush, guys. Why? Because you make large teardrops, you can cover in large areas, It's you can blend with it. It's just such a good brush. Okay, so close your eyes. So first thing that I'm going to do, nope, really soft, really soft, is just make a teardrop in the corners of the eyes just like that okay super simple and then i'm just gonna slightly go in i know i know and just kind of fan out ticklish huh mm. a little bit of white right there over the muzzle okay and that's super simple part right guys not you don't have to do a whole ton of work okay so what I did is just fanned out uh, the hair right around the muzzle area because I don't want to have to do tons more work, okay? So keep that in mind. Last, I'm just going to create a little white teardrops inside of the ears and then just give it a little bit of an outline. Okay, so now just a little bit of black. Okay, then this part is important. So what you're gonna do is I don't wanna touch his lip. Why? Because one, I don't wanna be painting on his lip. Two, boys start licking it. So I'm just gonna come down a little bit halfway and bring teardrops out, okay? <laughs> See how that starts? So I brought a teardrop to the right and a teardrop to the left. I didn't even touch the middle. And then I'm just fanning it up, just like that. Now, all we have to do is just follow the curves that you made using your arty cakes see so it's like that line was already there for you so you don't even have to do much same thing here i'm just following the shapes of my teardrops right like mm -hmm. a, a literally just recreating and then the ears again here just like that and then last but not least all I'm gonna do is just kind of outline those and exaggerate his nose okay. just like we're just gonna create a series of dots, okay? So we start big, and then we get smaller as it comes in. Okay, and you can make as many of those as you want. You know, time depending, don't feel obligated to do it, just like that. Okay, if you have more room uh, on the forehead, by all means, you can go back in with your arty cakes, you know, use the real estate, that's what we like to call it. So if you wanna go back in with another layer of hair, you could, you know, this part is up to you guys. And if I make that extra layer, I'm gonna outline the extra layer so that it appears as if it's more lion hair okay all right all right guys we want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning in for joining us for coming back to paint good days are ahead guys stay tuned for lots more make sure to tune in to faba tv this month there is a special you can get a free rainbow cake uh free 99 you like free Yep, that's right. A free rainbow cake with your subscription. So we encourage you start learning, investing your success. Uh, so much more on the way. And make sure you check out Silly Farm for all these amazing supplies. And check out the Clay Kings. Claykings.com, right? Yep. All right. Bye, guys. Happy Bye. painting.